I'm just feeling like it's, I'm still dreaming. It's like a dream come true. I'm just excited to be here to have this opportunity. We left our hotel at 7.15. We went down to the ESPN headquarters and we did some presentations there, met some people, and then we headed down to the Mohegan. And we spent a little bit of time here with our families and then we got our hair and makeup done. And that was, that was so much fun, just clinging to each other. Everybody was so cool and I think we had a good time bonding and doing different things. And I think that us in this setting outside of basketball is just good for us. My great grandma is here, my mom is here, and my sister's here, and a lot of my friends are up in the stands, and my coaches are here. My chest is just bursting with such pride, especially to see a young lady. Dreams be fulfilled in the family. And uh, this is a special event, and it's just special that she represents, you know, her family and herself, and certainly Rutgers University. It's, it's a dream come true, and this is what it's all about. You know, to coach and, and to work hard, and certainly for her to be here today. It's just, thank you so much. Thanks to our fans who really gave her the kind of energy and electricity that she needed to, to, to reach this particular level. Uh, Clara Clark, Talia Copper's great grandmother. And um, this has been her dream from way back. And uh, I'm glad to see it happen. She is too. <laughs> Get picked in this league is just an awesome opportunity. But um, if I had to choose uh, somewhere close to home, maybe New York. DC, something like that. Oh, I'm so excited to have this opportunity to be here, first of all, to be invited to be one of the 12 players. And um, just to hear my name called, it was, it was, an exci it was so exciting. I don't, I don't really have any wor words right now because it hasn't really hit me yet, but um, I'm just so excited for this next chapter of my life. All right. And our first first question will be middle center. Hi, Kalia. Did hey. this work out absolutely perfect for you uh, going to Washington, being from Philadelphia? Kia Vaughn, another Rutgers person on that roster, and I don't know how well you know Natasha Cloud that played at uh, St. Joe's, who's from Cornell, O'Hara. It, it worked out perfectly. Um, I chose Rutgers because it was so close to home, and now to be a part of um, the Washington Mystics is like a dream come true and um, I, I am familiar with those players at Washington and I'm just excited to follow some experienced veterans who um, knows what they're doing. Next question, last row to the right. How you doing and congratulations. Thank you. Um, just to piggyback off you going to Washington, uh, made the playoffs last three years, um, their roster, a lot of versatile players. How do you uh, see your skill set fitting in and the different ways that you could possibly help the team? Um, I think I, I bring a little, bring more versatility to the team. Um, I think that I can um, pick something that I can go into their program with and try to own it. And I think that I'm going to go there and I'm going to start off by doing the things I can control, like playing defense and bringing the energy and the effort. And then the offense and the other things will come. Next question to your left. So, Kalia, can you talk a little bit more maybe about some of the things that you want to be able to work on and really push yourself to the next level going into the WNBA? Um, so going into the WNBA, I, I definitely want to get stronger. Um, I think I, I can get a lot stronger to be able to deal with the physicality of the league. And um, I, I also want to just extend my, um, my range, keep, keep shooting the threes. I mean, I've gotten a lot better this year. So I just want to keep working on those things and keep working on my ball handling and just continuing to get better. You know what, uh, Kalia works hard. She's, she's never come in one day and not given everything she possibly can, and she wants to continue to grow and learn and to be the best player that she can possibly be. But she does that, you know, and competes, you know, as she has always. You know, she can't help but endear herself to the WNBA and just be one of those special people. I, I just don't think that it's done here. I think that she's going to uh, be one of these people that, that is going to be celebrated as one of the all-time greats, and I, I really believe that in my heart.